See, if you address this one thing, I think your gameplay would improve by a lot. It's me. I'm fighting myself. Everybody, welcome to another analysis. So uh, we're changing up the format this time. So I've heavily done some pre-production and seen the maps already. So everything is known to me. And so I wanted to basically shorten the time on the video to make sure I'm giving what you guys need in a, in a smaller amount of time. So here we have a analysis for CERN uh, playing as our resident Stakia versus a Zero Suit Samus. Um, my initial impressions about this matchup is a Zero Suit Samus has high mobility, um, so it's most likely that she'll have the initiative in most interactions. So I would seek maybe a defensive uh, and passive type playstyle, luring her into traps uh, because she's wanting to get a close engagement. Um, but yeah, so, uh, let's see how it goes. So after doing my analysis and watching the video, um, you do this thing that is quite central to your playstyle, which I think forms the basis of your weaknesses, and which is what I like to call the panic grenade. So what, so what is a panic grenade? Well, let me show you. Um, you do it a lot, so it's not hard to find, but basically under high pressure situations, you try and reset the situation by pulling a grenade and hoping that the, that the opponent will hit it, re resetting you both back to neutral. So here's an example of a panic grenade. See, so coming down from, a, from the top here, we're really close to that Zero Suit Samus. Um, you thought that was too close, you wanted to disengage, and you pull a panic grenade. And this happens a lot throughout the entire match. So, it happens here, here, and here. Here, and here. So, you can see what I mean about panic grenade. Hi what you perceive to be high pressure situations and you just desperately want to you know, trap them by um, pulling that grenade and hopefully resetting back to neutral because you seem to be really uncomfortable in these situations. So I've highlighted three instances where you do this panic grenade. So they're all different in their own way. So in this situation, um, you don't have, you pull a panic grenade because you're under, you're, you're really close to that Samus and you're feeling that uh, engagement pressure. So instead, instead of pulling that grenade, try to uh, dodge into the ground um, away from that zero suit Samus so you can you know, recover from your landing earlier. Obviously this will put you into a tech chase situation but you know if you're mixing it up that will be less likely to happen. The fact is at this point in time uh, you are using these grenades quite predictably under high stress situations so you get punished for this later on in the match. And from watching this video, the Zero Suit Samus does adapt to this. Uh, she starts hitting you in ways that don't trigger the grenade as much, as well as she's making use of that grab whip. So even though you're holding a grenade, she grabs you out of range of the grenade and can just quite slave, safely uh, punish you without trading. So this is my suggestion here. When you're quite close to the ground, just try dodging past the initial attack and wave landing on the floor instead of holding that grenade. So there's, there's this situation here, it's a, it's a little different from, you know, just trying to get back on the ground and recover and back to neutral. In this case, you're, um, you're setting up hit zones, but because you're doing that panic grenade, you're stacking your hit zones on top of each other, not really gaining you that much map control. I'll show you what I mean. So you do a light toss here, so you get this hit zone, so you protect the top, but to me, like, the Zero Suit Samus is already in your space, so you, it's kind of of little value to do this unless you plan to combo her, combo her into it. Yeah, but I didn't see that happen either. Here you, you panic because, you know, the Zero Suit Samus is in your zone. Um, I think a good move instead of jumping up here, like, you could have just uh, tilted her into the grenade, or at least tilted her in such a way that she moves closer to the grenade. 
either way it will generate pressure um, <clears throat> that is favorable to you in this engagement but here here's a panic grenade the right here um, so the zero suit Sam like she, she got into your space you wanted to keep her away so you jumped away and then you pull out a grenade right so the thing is like you've already gotten a grenade out on this platform already so why not why pull that grenade now and where are you going to place it now that you have a second one so we'll just show see how this pans out glasses so as you can see here like uh, holding doing that panic grenade um the zero six samus is starting to adjust and she's hitting you without um triggering that grenade basically avoiding the reset you're hoping for and now at this point the zero suit samus now that she's hit you could just fast fall and keep juggling you until you die um it's just fortunate that both of your grenades uh sort of like blow up here but if we do the calculations you effectively took an up air and the damage from both grenades so even though you know you kind of got the reset you're going for here um like you the trade was really bad so in the end you took more damage than you know the samus did which is not good so what what can we do in this situation so here right we're going you know you panic grenade here um so as as before like uh we could you know avoid that situation so you first you light toss up here and then we could think about you know trying to capitalize into it so we mentioned it before like you know instead of jumping here and panicking which is you know unfortunately the route you have taken um you could instead try to throw the samus up there or get her in a grab throw her that way um tilt her move to the other side of the uh, stage and try to like corral her into that hit zone um, instead of going for for that for that grenade um, but once you're already in it there's unfortunately nothing much you can do right so you pull here there's absolutely nothing you can do to to make this favorable for you again um, the only mix up you can do from this direction um, the only mix up you can do in this situation is probably try and fast fall so that you know the samus doesn't just hit your feet and it does trigger that grenade um or you know light toss again and try to get out of there but here holding that grenade in the air um if as a good zero to samus would be able to sweet spot your feet and not trigger that grenade so uh consider those for your mix-ups uh so to recap um in this situation when you've already done that light throw um try try to cap uh, keep in your mind that you want to capitalize off of it um instead of going uh instead of going down this route this seems rather very defensive for someone who had the initiative because you started on the ground the zero suit zone has just respawned so yeah uh, think about that um but here, the only mix-up you could do is fast fall potentially, and it still won't work out well for you because she'll land the up air, and you'll take damage from the up air and the grenade. So there's nothing much that can be done here. And I'm also wondering, like in this situation, like yeah. So so the second thing to analyze here, like just when you step back and look at it, the zero suit Samus just respawned. So you should be, um, you should be thinking about evasion, right? Like here, that, that light toss grenade probably wasn't going to last long enough for you to capitalize into it because, you know, the zero suit Samus is invincible for a while. So you can't even tilt her or grab her into that grenade. So in fact, if we look at this closely, the moment you lost this engagement, is here actually before even all of that started the moment you lost was here deciding to do that light toss um, because the zero two samus is invincible and wanting to get into your space so try try to be evasive right just keeping 
just be aware of the flow of the map. She's just respawned, so why would you ever try to engage here? So you know, this, all of this could have been avoided if um, if you just kept in your mind that the zero suit MS was invincible, right? At this point, you should be just dodging, right? Just play defensive, don't throw out any grenades, just dodge. Um, there are several. There are several options available. What Al what I've seen Ally do is like he runs, uh, he pulls a grenade. Instead of light tossing it, he would go into grenade stands, go to the edge and light toss here, and then light toss another one and then hang off the edge. So you'll basically have two grenades out and you'll be hanging off the edge. So you have a little bit of um, invincibility, invincibility frames. And you can just basically wait out, you know, Samus's, uh Samus's respawn invincibility. So yeah, uh, think about that next time, um, you know, the opponent respawns. Let's recap what we've covered so far. Um, so far we've had a panic grenade when you were close to the to the stage. Um, we've had a panic grenade, a zero to Samus getting into your space uh, and forgetting that you already had a grenade out. So that's situation number two. Um, so in this one, you're recovering high. And you had plenty of time to choose an action, but you decide to do a panic grenade, right? So um, we can see this pan out. Uh, so you got hit by the whip. You get you got sent up quite a lot. And for lack of a better plan, you decided to pull a grenade because it's it's what's natural to you. Um, there are many there are many options you could have taken here. Recovering high. Um, so let's go to the point where you pull the grenade. Alright, so she, she used the whip, she also hit you another time for an up air or an aerial, and this is the point where you pull a grenade. So here, instead of pulling that grenade and having the grenade on your body, um, you could have done some map control via, via your C4. So instead of pulling a grenade, you put a C4, and you don't even have to detonate it, right? Because once the C4 is out on the field, it creates pressure, and usually it creates pressure to the point where it clears the stage. They don't want to be anywhere near that C4, otherwise you just detonate it. So you just drop C4 and then invert. you suddenly, you control the map, right? You have a bit of map control while you're, you know, recovering high. So that's an option. Um, but the second option is, is that you could, once again, you could try going for Waveland or avoiding the status so you can Waveland back on the stage. Or, um, because you have time, you can try and go for that edge. Sometimes it's worth it, especially when Samus is in such a strong position in the center here. Because she's in the center, she basically controls all that space uncontested. So, think about like maybe just slowly working your way back. Like, go for the edge, do that too. Um, and then she'd be forced into a read situation where, you know, you could recover high, low, do your get up recovery back on the stage and so on and so forth. So set. So the edge is another option, um, and you know the basic simple option of dodge through the Samus. So if she comes up for a follow up attack, just dodge through. Um, your dodge can go in a lot of directions, forward, backward, really depends. Um, but yeah, that is still an option. See, like you had so much time. So from here, well, a little more than that. Like from here to here, like from here to here, you had all that time to do something. You didn't even drift, like which is basically, you know, move from your original position. It's like you held B and didn't decide to move at all until you hit the floor. So, and this is, this is what I mean by like the Samus starting to adapt to your hot panic grenades. In this case, the Samus was able to just, you know, grab whip you and then just punish you without even triggering that reset you were looking for. Um, we can also see that happen. Okay, see, like the Samus is starting to adapt. So like before we saw her do a grab whip but then the Samus is also starting to sweet spot her, her aerials. So here you pull a grenade. 
The Samus pulled an aerial in such a way where it hit, I think, the upper part of your body and did not hit the grenade at all. So, yeah, be super careful um, with this habit. It's, it's, it's a gaping weakness and probably the biggest one you should fix. See, if you address this one thing, I think your gameplay would improve by a lot. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if you like the new format. Um, is it better? Is it worse? Personally, I like it better because it's shorter, but it does take three times as long to um, create. How do you guys find it? Let me know. Um, and anyways, I'll see you in the next one. You're pretty good. Sometimes I pull far away Sometimes I pull from a cipher This ordeal, the trial to survive Until I lose a I pull grenades Not for combos, 